Everything that's boxed in on this thing. Now, I, I'm not going to show you all this stuff because this is great for you to go home and turn off two and a half men. Yeah. <laughs> you don't have to worry about them. They can't. They, they're not recording anymore. So don't watch TV. If you're going to watch TV, just watch maybe half as much as you normally do and get on the computer and pull up Constitution for the United States. Go ahead. What's the opposite of the square brackets? You said you mentioned it's the opposite. What, what are those things? Okay. Anything that's in a square box, it's called the four corners rule. That means anything that's within a box on a document, it does not pertain to that document. It's like it doesn't even exist. It's empty. It's gone. It's not there. Is that like a comment? Well, if you look in a lot of the books um, where they... Um, I have an old, old book from the 1800s about woodworking. And they were talking about how they would sharpen blades. And because the book was so old, they used to do almost all their sharpening with a stone and a leather strap. <coughs> okay? Well, then down at the bottom, uh, they added something in there that you can get a wet stone on a grinding wheel, and you can do all this with an electric buffer. Okay? So they added that in there, and they put it in boxes, which means that the author didn't write that into there. Somebody put that in there. Okay? So it's really not part of the book. That's the same thing with your credit card bills. If you see a credit card bill, the, everything is always in squares over to the right. Have you ever noticed that? You want to make a payment? The square boxes. When you put a number in there and you send in a check, because those numbers are in the boxes, your payment never gets put back into your account. You made, you made a contribution to a corporation called Visa or MasterCard, and they're going to sit on that for about three and a half years, and then they're going to claim it that you abandoned your money. Okay. Now, when you start seeing boxes, I want you to check this out. There's boxes everywhere. Okay. I mean, everywhere. I went into Western Union and sent a friend two hundred dollars the other day. What an experience that is. Okay. I had to write in the box two hundred dollars to put into the system so that they would transfer it to someone else. The two hundred dollars was just an indication of what I would like to be in the system for somebody in a different area. When I signed my name to that union, okay, that name is what put the money into the system. My signature is what created the money. Now when the money went in there, okay, by my signature, out of thin air, I gave the guy $200 free to do whatever he wanted with. So, are you guys following that? The $200 disappeared, it never made it to him. I signed something that caused the $200 to come in there. Now, as I was leaving, getting ready to go, they go, we got one more thing for you to sign. I go, what's that? They go, uh, an authorization to transfer the money somewhere else. And I said, so you're going to get two signatures. How about that? So I signed it again. Okay, now I called up my buddy and I go, hey, let me know if they make you sign twice. He goes, Okay. So he signed once, they gave him the money, but before they gave him the money, they said, you've got to sign one more time here. So what they did is they did a dual transaction for 400 bucks, okay? They kept all $400, and I'm sure they gave the IRS their cut, because I created that money with my signature. And I gave them $200 for doing me a favor, transferring the money through a wire to somewhere else, okay? So as you're going along, all these square boxes that were on that... <laughs> On the Union, what is it called? Western, Western, Western Union. Union. There were square boxes everywhere. I mean, they really got their self covered. So while you're out there doing commerce, okay, while you're out there doing this stuff, keep your eyes open. Start, start seeing it. Do you remember that old movie with Roddy Piper? You remember he puts on the glasses and all those people are all jacked up? They live. Do you remember that movie? And you could only see him when the glasses were on? Well, I'm giving you a pair of glasses tonight. I want you to wear them. Keep your eyes open. Uh, the Word of God says, study to show yourself approved. we got to study, guys. The remedies are everywhere. They're hid everywhere. And all those rules and zones and codes and all that stuff, there's a, there's a remedy in every one of them that we can get out okay, of whatever contract it is. We're having some great success, three or four places now that we know of, that the judges are actually asking for the note. The original note on a foreclosure to be married to the um, default judgment. It has to be married according to the laws. Okay? And the judges are starting to stand up. 
Now, if you don't know where to tell the judge that law is, but that's our remedy, okay? So look for the remedies. If you find any, please call them in to us so that we can explain it to everybody else. If you guys see anything funny like that, okay? Excuse me for interrupting. Sure. Uh, back to the boxes for a second. Every time I deposit money in the bank, we fill out a box. Are you saying we should not? No. Now, um, or, or just understand this that that's the form of commerce, okay, that we have agreed to. It's gotten so far out of hand that we all have to have a capital letter name on a checking account in order to do commerce. There's a private side and a public side. Your labor is on the private side. What you do for work is on the private side, okay? On the public side, there's a, an entity with the same name as you. They spell it a little different. Okay, that's the transmitting utility in order for you to go into the matrix and go down the street and get some groceries and come back out. Now, the Republic is here so that we don't have to have that because every time you use that, they charge you a usury tax. Now, the Bible says that's a sin. Usury is a sin. To make money with your money on interest on someone else's hard labor is a sin. But I found the other day that it says it's okay for foreign countries to do that. So if you understand, we're all foreigners in the United States. Or you can look at it the way I look at it. The foreigners are here in my America. Okay? Does that make sense? Yeah. I hope I touched on some stuff so you guys understand it. Please study. Uh, on the website, um, one of them is called, let me pull it up. One of them is called, if you just pull in there for a, a search on Google, I put up a uh, constitution and it came up, the rape of we the people and the constitution for the United States. So um, that one really gets into some really great stuff. But, you know, don't get depressed about it because there's remedy everywhere. There's remedy in everything that we can do. And so um, as we move the, the, the republic forward with more and more people and more and more armies, that's it. The rape of the Constitution, the United States constructive. Um, constructive fraud. And it, and it talks about how if, if something's, the Supreme Court ruled on this, if something's totally fraudulent, but it's got some good things in it, we're going to go ahead and allow it. <laughs> okay. Um, all through, all through this, these documents, you'll, your mind will start opening. When you go to sign some documents, you'll understand. I mean, I, went, I was out in California last week, and I went with a friend to sign a contract for a demolition job. And the guy spun the papers around to him, and they were talking, and he just went to the last page and started signing. And I went, oh, golly, what are you doing? And he goes, well, what do you mean? And I go, don't you think you ought to read that? And he goes, well, the guy sent it over to me early, and, and this is a contract. So I go, can I talk to you outside? <laughs> I went outside, and I go, what if it's not the same contract? And he goes... That's a good idea. I better go in there and read it. He went in there and made seven changes to the contract. Now, I'm not saying that either one of them were bad guys. I'm just saying what he understood on the phone and what was on the paper was different. We have all done the same thing. When you go in and apply for a driver's license, you give up title to your right in exchange for a benefit and a privilege. Okay. One of the benefits is if you get hurt on the highway, uh, the highway patrol, the guy with the costume on, will call another guy with a costume, it's called an ambulance, and they'll come help you, okay? That's one of the benefits. One of the other benefits is you get to go to jail if you don't pay your bill. The guy that didn't show up in court, the benefit for him acting like a convict is he gets to be a convict. He gets to go to jail. So if, if anybody's listening to all this stuff, I want you to know that we're going to do this because we're smarter than they are. They stole our country with a pen, and we're going to take it back. It's going to be a ballpoint blue bick, okay? <laughs> I'm not kidding you. That pen, nothing is mightier than the pen, not even the sword, okay? So anyway, I want to thank you guys for all standing around. I'm sorry. Okay. The deal about the size of the property is that, for instance, all of the grant, if you go west of the Mississippi, most of it's owned by the government. They can't do that. Not only did we buy it in the first place a long, long time ago. Isn't that right, Alan? Steve? We bought it through outright. The United States owns the whole ground. But then they later on said, no, 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 we want, we want to grab all this. 
fine forest ground and everything with minerals on it. Well, by consent, we allowed that. Now, the good part is we could change our mind. Okay. So um, if you guys want to talk a little bit afterwards, I know Stoney's going to wrap stuff up. If you guys want to talk a little bit, we're going to try and... I'm going to turn it back over to Stoney.